<laughs> uh, welcome back, everyone. MTG okay. Dungeon here with guest commentator Mike. It's been a while What's since up? since we've uh, we've seen Mike here. He's been avoiding us. Yeah, avoiding magic. Honestly, that's fair. I know. All right, so it looks like our first match we have is a Urza Mirror. Uh, I am playing Grixis Urza. My opponent is playing the Bant Urza deck. Uh, in all honesty, uh, game one Grixis has the advantage because we're just so combo focused. Games two and three, not so much. <laughs> uh, right. Because like the Bant has things. Um, like Sword, which completely removes Urza, and then they have Uros, Teferis, uh, and Bela Summer, which is not, I mean, any green deck has that, but like, when it's all just together, it's super, super annoying. Is this an actual list? Because I haven't been keeping up on Modern. Yes. Okay. These, these are, these are Two the lists. lists that we played that night. Okay. I meant, like, is it a, a meta deck, is what I'm asking. Uh, it's in the top 20. The, the where's uh, that Raul's playing? But both, I mean, all iterations of Wars are in the, are in the top 20, but we're oh, at the okay. lower end. Okay, because like, it's, it's just... I think last I checked, we were like 17th, right. 16th, and my Death Shadow is like right next to us right now as well. Right, it's just... Uro... Well, the, the, I need to look at the meta. Hold on a sec, guys. <laughs> um, well, the big thing is... Um, with the, the new Uro Piles deck and um, the, the Blitz deck... <clears throat> like those decks are both just really well positioned against the Wars of decks. Also, since there's a lot of uh, MTGO online stuff, going through the combo online since you actually are on a timer, right? It's uh, not fun. It's not fun, right? Uh, so, all right. Well, I see lands and I think a witching well in my hand. So looks like we're going to fetch. Yeah, there's a witching well. Utopia. Yeah. Um, so uh, I did not know what. Uh, oh, it's Monza. Yeah, I did not know what uh, Raul was running, so I was like, "All right, he knows it's a Tron deck." So I was like, "Okay, I just need to get through the combo as fast as possible." All right, this looks pretty much the same as when I last looked at it. Pretty so much, I I said, like I, I, the Earl Piles is the <coughs> the up and comer. So like, is this like nice. a nice? Is this a polluted Delta? That, that is the Watery Grave, and the Pluto Delta is uh, that nice, shiny, <laughs> reflective card. Alright, uh, so Scry 2. Um, like, losing Astrolabe was unfortunate, but I am grateful that we did have a very easy replacement for it in the Witching Well. Yeah. Because it's, it's good early because you get a stack, it's fine late because you can play and crack it to draw two more cards. What does Witching Well say? Uh, ETB, Scry 2, and then you pay a blue and three, sack it, draw a card. Or okay. draw two cards, excuse me. So like if you have an Urza on the board, okay. you can tap it. To it's add not Astrolabe, it but it's the next best thing. It, it, it's a it's a fine right. uh, replacement. I'm gonna play. Yeah, that's a lot of cards. <laughs> Seven, you know, in and out. And you probably have one point. Yeah. All right. So it looks like I I'm pretty sure one. Well, I think he's about to play a Witchy Well. Second I saw that, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Off to the races we go. Um, okay. Yeah, what you want? Yeah, you saw you saw that, and you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, so it's it's a mirror match now. Uh, I will say, if Patrick is watching, uh, we do have a blue black fairies match, and it's a really good one, and I think you should look at the deck list if you watch this later. Uh, Mystical Sanctuary right here, coming coming to play tapped is never never fun. But it's like, alright. Uh, That's a good card to have on the mirror match. It, I mean, it is. It's like, and I see Earl, I'm like, oh, okay, it's this version. Because <laughs> originally I thought, I'm like, oh, he's like on the um, the Esper uh, Stoneblade right, version. Right, yeah. And I was like, oh, and I saw Earl, I'm like, oh, no, he's on that version. Fun. Well, I was, I was like, okay, well, I have an advantage game one. Well, I was like, games two and three are just going to be, ugh. Alright. Draw for Bobble, draw for turn. I think I think I saw top to foundry in hand. I mean, he's tapped out, so it's a free turn for you. Uh, I mean, you you do have to be aware because uh, some lists do run force and negation. So, like, since I know he has an arrow in hand, no, he has a, he would have to be able to cast it. 
Oh, time save. All right. Uh, that is that is one of the things with the combo decks uh, I have a personal preference for. Looks like I have a cast in the row here. Is uh, if I'm comboing, I want a way to win that turn. I don't want to like have to pass one turn to my opponent and then come back and kill him. Uh, I just don't want my opponent to have some miracle top draws or whatever. <coughs> Tolarian Academy? Is that what that is? Academy. I mean Tolarian Academy. <laughs> Toleria West. <laughs> no, it's a uh, Mystic Sanctuary. Oh, okay. That's even better. Right? <laughs> Four, I forgot right. that was a card. <laughs> that card is dumb. That card's great! Uh, Alright, so it looks like... Uh, cast Urza. Like... Show me the path. Notice how Lord clearly has a play map that chooses to play over the play map. Right. Yep. Right, I agree. It's that aggression. <laughs> in, in in this match, I am the beatdown currently. <laughs> do you have infinite? No. I do not, because I don't have a Thopter Foundry. I have a Time Sieve, so if I oh, find okay. a Thopter I Foundry... Thought the, I thought the Time Sieve was the Thopter. Yeah. Yeah. I did too, when I first we were watching this video. I was like, ah, not quite. But Is it in hand, though? Whoa. Yeah. A few people. Someone did not like this match. No. Kind of like me. I think it's kind of boring, but game game one is because effectively we're both trying to get to the same place as fast as we can. We also know that each of us play counters typically, yep. and so it's like okay, who has the counter? If if, if he was counters, like if I play this, I just get blown out. And I was like, no, yours are resolves. That's one of the worst <laughs> parts about Magic, though, is they give you these. Uh, tiny rows to walk through and everyone chooses to bring like half of their collection in their backpack and not everybody's so skinny at these things <laughs> and so <laughs> you've got a recipe for disaster where you're just like could you scoot in it's like no I can't I really can't <laughs> exactly uh, good old Urza combo yeah. in one card so I hate Urza he, I, I think he, he was he was debating if he wanted to equip Urza with sword or not and he's like, no, I'm going to cast Emery. It's like, alright. Which one's Emery again? The you mill four. Okay. ETB, and then you can tap her uh, to cast an artifact from your graveyard. Okay. And it costs Seems good. for each artifact you have? Oh. It costs, yeah, I'm colorless. While we're watching this boring match of who <laughs> finds the combo first, let's just be honest, that's what it Hence, is. It's the Urza player. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like the new goblin deck that popped up like a month and a half ago? In Historic? Uh, or are, we talking, are we talking modern? Modern. Um, I mean, so like with the, uh, uh, what's it called? Goblin. Goblin conscripts. No, no, no. The, the Snoop. 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 Yeah. Snoop. yeah. Uh, like uh, one of the people actually this uh, tournament that we had had one, and the deck is fine. Like uh, it, it loses. Two. I thought it was cool. It is. Who won? Oh, okay, yeah, you won. I got yeah, yeah. found it. Yeah. Alright, uh, that's exciting magic right there. <laughs> uh, but I'm yeah, gonna no, bash uh, this deck until it dies. I'm just saying. <laughs> Look, everyone's gotta have a hate deck. It's fine. Um, um, Tron sucks. <laughs> yeah. uh, I just don't like blue decks. They're just boring to go against. Okay, Jund. <laughs> Jund does. I played more Volaku. That's true. Yeah. Uh, so let's see, sideboard, I know I'm bringing in Thoughtseize, uh, Collective Brutality, Ashiok. Um, I, I, I debated on the Brazen Borrowers, and I, I think I brought them in, in case, uh, he had, uh, Graveyard Hate, like, uh, Rest in Peace. I don't know why you wanted me to commentate this video, you could do this whole thing <laughs> by yourself. <laughs> You're the worst player! Right. But, <laughs> someone has questions or like, hey, look, we're sideboarding, we're going to have right, right. Um, And I'm pretty sure with, uh, like, on the opposite side, they're bringing in the Tomwatch Crypt, the Engineer Explosives, um, probably one extra path, and they're probably bringing in the two Veils, and the Mystical Dispute would probably replace... What's an Aether Ghost? The, um, where turn target spell or permanent that's red or green... Uh, to okay, the top. I don't care about it. Yes, right. uh, and then mystical dispute. What was that one? 
Uh, it costs two less to cast if it's targeting a blue spell. And Cal has to pay three for a blue and two colorless. Okay, so mana leak. A better mana leak if you're in a control mirror if you pay one blue. That right. Um, like the the black. the big thing with uh, the Uro list that I do appreciate though is that if someone takes away your combo, you still do have an alternate win con with Uro. Right. As like uh, as opposed to like on my side, it's literally like okay, if I can't with combo, I'm trying to win with Urza constructs. Like right. I mean, and that, that side, it this one looks interesting because it runs Gilded Goose and and stuff like that too, which I like. Well, it's, it's what was like, Gilded Goose is good against That being action. said, I know a lot of people hated Gilded Goose because of the Oko era, but I wasn't, I quit <laughs> right when Oko was released, and I was like, thank God <laughs> that I didn't play that, because I would have, I would have, I would have hated the, my life. The, the first, the first, like, month, it was fine, <laughs> and it was just like, suddenly, like, he's just in everything, and so everything's like, oh, okay, we're going to Oko each other today. All I got to say is, I said it was broken. <sighs> no one believed me. Okay, like... I didn't think it was broken. I'm like, there's another blue card that no one believes me. Is it Urza? No, oh. the the one that's the enchantment that's coming out. It's I'm not going to talk about it. We're not because it's not on the board. But I guess we're waiting for. Yeah, I was like, but that card is busted. The blue enchantment. It's it's good against certain decks, and that's it. It it you are under it so. The worst case scenario is it's a sideboard card yeah, that no, is heavily played. That's the top eight. Press it. For the mythic in invitational, is this today? S standard, yeah. No, it's historic. Oh, historic? historic? Okay. Alright. Nice. I know most of these people, actually. Except uh, Lewis Scott Paragas. I don't know who else he is. Yeah. LSB! <laughs> No, I, I legit think that card's going to be really good. You play one, okay, whatever. You and But it, I think the problem is, is it affects them and not you. Like the caster. I can see it, but like... And it makes their fetches clunky, which is a huge... It's huge. I mean, it can be, but like... Uh, the deck you're probably playing that in is probably more of a like mid range control shell. So like against like rush right, decks but or you combo can, decks. But then you then you play a deck that like focuses around land destruction or like flickering, like flicker wisp, yeah. and then you can force it, and then you can ghost quarter, and you can either wasteland them or they lose two lands. I mean, build build a list then, Mike, and you can you can like. I'm hit. just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I see your point, but I also like that. And then it stacks. My thing is, it's like, eh, it feels like Magic Christmas Land a little bit. A Drowsy Displacer, Flicker Wisp, and the new enchantment. Historic Goblin here. Seems legit. <laughs> They're just crinkling so, each other. Yeah. It's, okay, we got this exciting. Well, the game uh, starts. No, no, it's, uh, no, it's okay. uh, for. Uh, for those of you who are into historic at all, uh, Muxus is probably gonna get banned pretty quick because that card is ridiculous. I'm Mux Muxus, but several other people are like Skirk Prospectors. The real problem? No, it's Muxus. Even if you play it on six naturally, you yeah, win. it's yeah, it's the uh, the other goblin. Like, look, that just lets him just keep casting things. The problem is that, like this just gets him all the advantage and he's gonna kill you. <laughs> you play that, you win. Yeah. Or if you're not winning, you're going to be like far enough ahead you should be winning the next few turns. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright. What's the deck? That they were talking about? For historic? Yeah. Uh it's gonna be the goblins. No, clicking one too high. Too low the mono red. No. <laughs> Muxus. Mono red goblins. Yep. You you know you know what Muxus does, do you? Oh, this guy. Yeah, I do know what he does. Yeah, that's. It's good. Uh, yeah, it's too good. Oof. All right. This card enters. Cast Emery a mill four. Right, right. Well, he had an Earl and Emery, a land and a word. Lords and then uh, Cranko, and you. I mean, it's six mana. Yeah, but you get that. Way fast. Uh, with snoops. Yeah. 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 And Goblin War Chief is that the right one? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I know. I know how goblins mm. work. 
Like Thopsies, it's a really good card. Though. As much as I want to take the Thopter Foundry, there's no point because he has an Emery on the board. So I'm like, to fairy. <laughs> hey, look, that's a good card, and it has a similar effect that's asymmetrical that affects the opponent, but not you. It affects your opponent a lot harder, right? Than and the other one, right? Does. But it's a, it's an asymmetrical. Just just point something out. <laughs> I hate that card too. I, it's just so look, boring. I mean, I, I I'm saying I, I think it will see some sideboard play. I don't think it's going to see a lot of mainboard play in modern. Okay. <laughs> My thing is, I think that card is going to be busted. If it's not busted now, uh, they'll print a card that makes oof. it busted in the future. Oh, yeah. So thought the foundry coming down. So I'm like, okay, I don't have much in my hand. I might just be losing here. <laughs> yeah, it looks like <laughs> it. If he drops a what's the card Urza, uh, he needs Urza and be, sword. Yeah, but Urza, remind me on the text in Urza. Does that tutor out a? No. No. Okay, it just makes a token. That's what it does yes. and turns it into a, a, a Mox Opal. Yes. Of every artifact into Mox Opal. Uh, yes. Yeah. Like Mox Diamond, but yeah, I mean. Yeah. Same. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so good. I'm gonna check your yeah. post. Oh, uh, yeah, in the blue basket. It's fine. Thank you. Um, so, we have three. Like, I would need Goblin Engineer to get... Okay, there we go. We'll yeah, take it. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, the Witch Mode does work well with the Goblin Goblin Engineer as well. Because right, uh, right, I right. literally, like, put this list back together, like, a few hours before <laughs> right. going up there. So I'm like, okay... Remember these things? I'm like, I'm like, okay. I'm like, I don't know how this is gonna be with the witchy mode versus the astrolabe, and so like, did a couple games. I'm like, so he would have brought in EE Tormod's Crypt, um, and probably the Veil of Summer. Yeah. Um, and then you possibly yeah. mystical dispute, depending on depending on how much he yeah. wants to. I think black is like the way to go with this deck, though. Like, cause it just has so much. Like um, the one thing that I feel like this deck is lacking is card draw. Um, I mean, yeah, because like the, with the Grixis version, especially because you're you're so focused on the combo, just right. getting there as fast as possible. So like you don't you're not trying to make it go a long game. You're just like, no, we're just gonna win. We're just trying to go here, and then like, uh, games two and three, I have to Oof. fight for. Oh, you can't pop it though. Uh, not this turn, no. It's two to poppy, right? Yeah. I always get the get it mixed up, yeah. I always have to read EE even when I'm playing it because I always forget it's two and not one. Oh, okay. if it was one, it'd be yeah. stupid yeah. good. Yeah. Oh. Um. I mean, so it's it's like with the with the four mana like situations for. Oh, so he missed a land drop. A few land drops. Oh no. No, he's, he's one because he. I got the first game, so we're on game two. So it's a, he's missing land drops. That's really good. I assume he like he doesn't have something like. Well, he can't um, drop a. Yeah, he can't drop a. Ur, uh, Urza, which yeah. is kind of your win condition. Uh, it's a big one, yeah. Um, also, he doesn't have an artifact to abuse with Amory in the graveyard, like Misha's Bobble, Chromatic right, Star, right, something right. like that. Where you can just like abuse it, uh, and that's also um, something I noticed um, was uh, we uh, the Grixis definitely synergizes more with. Um, the goblin because you're just so combo focused I've been looking at esper lists and the issue is that you kind of go into a stone blade route okay. um, and so um, you're a little more open to the control decks so he's like hmm I'm like word for one he's, he's, he's determined he wants to respond or not now the emery doesn't do anything now right it just sits there but, incorrect Okay. Uh, I'm going to name the EE because I know that I'm more combo focused than he is. Right. No, what? You're playing. So I'm I'm worrying for one. Oh, I get what you're saying. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna grab a pithy needle. I'm gonna I'm pretty sure I name E E because then at that point I know since I'm more combo focused, I can win. I can theoretically win faster than he can. Right. So that is now the goal. So I'm like I have to find a way so he can't stop me for combo. <laughs> okay. This. And, oh, it was, and okay. it was also so he just said pass because yeah, yeah. and so, so I was like uh, fetch some word don't tap 
wrong warden. I, uh, that, <laughs> trust me, I, 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 that's why I had to stop and think. I was like, wait. So time sieve. I think uh, I want to see if he has a counter. So I'm like, if he counters time sieve, I'm not that worried about it. Right. I'm like, all right. I'm pretty, I feel like it's just like I'm gonna I'm gonna bait. He drew a sword of the meek. Ooh. So, uh, he's, he's, so at this point, between words or players, we're just like dongle on the table. <laughs> Pretty much. It's, it's like, are you afraid of fourth land or is it from me? And it's like, mm, we'll see. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you haven't drawn yours, obviously. Or else you would have played it. Uh, I mean, when when you, when we were both played blue and you see three mana up in the back. Right. It's, it's like. How in need do I need to cast this, or how vital is I try and get this down now, or can I kind of try right. and set up for later? <laughs> so it's like, oh, we fetch mystical, t uh, mystical sanctuary, putting uh, swapping things. Yeah, so the war on top, uh, and then getting back the uh, foundry. Sword of the meat. Uh, getting back to Foundry with uh, Goblin's ability stacking. Yep. Yeah. The Witch Mill, I'm like, alright, Witch Mill's not going to do a whole lot for me right now. It's like, worst case scenario, like, work for the sword, get the sword, I can start stacking the sword to the Goblin to get back Witch Mill to do all the other fun things. Oh ho! There's Urza. He's like, Metallic Rebuke, because I only have two mana up. <laughs> I was like, <sighs> yep. So I, I counted it. I was like, if this Urza sticks, that means my word that I have in my hands is going to go get it. I, kinda, I can just combo. I'm like, we're good. So I was like, dang. Yeah. That, that was a really, really well time. I found it, and now Urza. Well, I said, we'll, we'll find out. I can hope not. You never know. <laughs> this has to be Urza. Oh, God, please no. Let's see, he probably took out Gilded Goose. No. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, probably, yeah, Gilded Goose doesn't uh, doesn't do much for him. Liam Baelish? Type your name. Oh. I forgot to change it from when I had the... Alright, so, Caster is a... I was like... There you go. Okay. Uh, so I asked him, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, you have combo, like, tell me how it works. Tell me how it works. I'm like, okay, do you have a way to win this turn? He's like, yes. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to do to shuffle your deck once and then go through, you know, like, right. peel through to show me. So I'm like, then I get to see more of his, I get to see more of his cards and, like, what he brought in so I can kind of, like, right. plan. So he's like, here we go, here we go, shuffle. And it was great because that's me, like, wait, do you have to shuffle each time? Like, No. I just say when you shuffle once, your opponent cuts. It's shuffle enough you can just literally just go from the top. Right. So you're just comboing off like this. Right. Obviously, if you have a certain number of. So how does the combo work for his deck? So, uh, so you have Urza Sword Thopter, right? So you tap the sword for mana, sack sword, get a one-one artifact Thopter, and the sword comes back. Right. You tap both those for a blue. Use one of those sacking sword. Okay. Okay. So okay, you're okay. netting one mana every every. But time how is he it. drawing off the top? The uh, so it's the Urza ability. The pay five, uh, shuffle your deck. Exile the top card of your library until end of turn. You may play that card. That ah, that's right. That's right. So that's why he has a way. Don't shuffle each time. It's like no. When it's shuffled once, I get you. Because the deck has seen a shuffle, you can just peel right. off the top. Should have named Doctor Foundry, or I mean, a uh, Sword of the Meek. Uh, that wouldn't have stopped it. Yeah, you're right. Because <laughs> uh, it's a triggered ability, not an activated. Uh, yeah, you're just screwed. I was like, yeah, I was like, I was like, oh, well, cause I want to see what his win con was, because, like, eight months ago, we had talked about uh, how, like, Alter of the Brood is a win con, right. and it doesn't matter what color. Like, me, I chose Time Sweep, because time, the Time Sweep combo works with a sword combo without Urza, just to infinitely win as well. So I'm like, yeah, just do either one right. works. Um, so I was like, he's like, yeah. So I was like, I was like, oh, he has that. So once he hits that, then I'm going to concede. But I'm like, if LSV has taught me anything, <laughs> right. make him show you the kill. Just so you can get more information. Well, that or like, if you just assume your opponent has this kill and scoop and they don't, because LSV did that with the Storm deck, because if you forgot to put the, uh, uh, the Storm one, uh, 
Storm Burn card. Grape Shot. If you have to put Grape Shot in his board, and so he'd go burning worse than people then just concede because they, they knew what he was going to do. And so it's just, he'd just bluff him out each time. So that's what I said. Like, that's what I've learned. Like, no, like, no, like, okay. Right. Okay, cool. Do you show me this and cast it? Okay, yes. At that point, I will concede. I'm not going to go through each trigger. He's still digging. <coughs> So, so like the so the only downside with time sieve versus altar is if altar is like the bottom card of your deck, you can still win that turn. If time sieve is, you lose because you have to wait to get back to your turn. Right. So it's like ah. Oh. So he's at cryptic, uh, bounce that draw. I was like okay. So I'm starting to think he doesn't have a wing con. Like a turn, right. like, you know, immediate, like, I win this turn, win cons. So I was like, I wonder if you make the mistake, you go through his whole deck. <laughs> uh, from wherever Sam put the, I think it's on the bottom shelf, that's the one that we gave him. So you can take some from that. Yeah. Now he can pay for that uh, Urza. Right? Just saying. So he's like, oh, so like, see, now you're starting to think of like, so I don't know if he's just like, because I've, I've had this happen where like, I'm real low on cards, I'm like, wow. <laughs> There's three cards left. And for me, I was like, I have to go to the next two, because it's the last one I lose either way. Cool, I, I don't lose either way. Like, they have a board wipe take out with tokens kind of thing. Like, okay, whatever. So this right. is like, it's just it's one of those awful feelings. He's like, we're going to play the land, we're going to put Cryptic from the Grave on top. Yeah, you can draw. He's like, Urza, I'm like, sure. <laughs> Bring pool. So, uh, that's that's a big one, is if, if people are new to combos, um, just making them play it out. Because, hey, like, it helps them learn it better, and also if... Hey! Hi, Liam. <laughs> hi, Liam. Uh, I know, right? It's so much fun. <laughs> We've already talked about this. Uh... Yeah, fun, interesting gameplay, as Greg just said. <sighs> I mean, he's like, I got, I got two cards left. And I was like, yeah. He's like, all right, return that to your hand. Sounds And he's good. like, he's like tap, tap all your guys. And I was like, okay. So I'm like, he's got two cards left. And I, don't know if, I, was like, I was like, I wonder if he's going to go for it. It's hilarious if you can't. God. <laughs> Because you love it so much, Liam. <laughs> so I'm like, Dr. Foundry. I think I, I think I ended up being one mana off from just being able to win. From right now? From right now. Because I'm like, I can cast Urza, get a Construct, and then I was like, but then I'm one mana short. Why'd from you scoop there? Because uh, he, he had the tokens to beat me. I didn't have the combo. Oh, gotcha. Um, I needed one more mana because then I could have worked for two and then just gone. I was one. I was like, no. Gotcha. So, actually, like now I know what his plan is for. Like, I've seen his cyborg cards he's brought in since he went through his whole deck for me. Uh, Neil was on. Uh, e. Engine explosives. <laughs> Wasn't that a fun game, Liam? So interactive. Um, so yeah, it's like, like pod versus pod. It uh, was great. So. Uh, like we, me and him would talk about this like after I after tuned in <laughs> right uh, after the match we talked about it, it was like if you you know if you're not sure if you have a win con or not if you know you have like cryptics then you just you know like cool make right. a thousand tokens pass and they're like okay cool to try and do something you just keep using Earth's ability until you hit a counter spell and like no right. no my turn okay you're dead <laughs> right so like, yeah that makes sense uh really there you go uh, all right, I'll have, to, I'll have to look into it. I know we haven't, like, stream streamed in a little bit, so some stuff might have gotten turned off. Also, a Streamlabs has updated a few times, and I haven't looked into what actually got updated yet. Hey, turn one with you well. The new turn one, Astrolabe. It's so cool. Uh, I should be getting my foil ones Monday. You and your foils. You're turning into Eric Westwood. Hmm. Except, like, I'm only doing it for two decks, and these are the two decks I absolutely love. 
<laughs> Peasant. Peasant. <laughs> Hey, at this point, I'm literally just one judge force from having Chronicles done for it up. The last one's gonna be a while before I find a good deal. It's a problem I know for that one. Yeah. Uh, back to the match. Hey, look, they play a witching well. The beginning of these matches aren't, you know, super exciting. <laughs> Wait, it's the whole match, right, Liam? <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, looks like we're gonna. F I'm like advantage, Raul. <laughs> what? Uh, goblin in the foil. Foil goblin to foil sword. Suck it, Liam. Advantage me. More foils on the board. <laughs> uh, See, this, this is why Liam didn't give me his list in time. So I put the sheet. I'm. I found the shittiest. Death Shadow. Death Shadow I could find. I'm like, yeah, Liam plays all these cards. Whatever he says in chat, don't listen to him. <laughs> Favor award. <laughs> we have the same amount of permanents in play. Quote unquote. Right. Uh, good old Mishra's bubble. <laughs> what was that? Oh, his, path. Path, his path to Goblin. I was cool. like, Thanks. yeah, all right. I mean, like the the thing with you want land. <laughs> Well, I say the thing with Goblin is that it's just one of those. It is a late game generator if you right, need right. it. So it's just like take them out where you can. Because if you're holding those paths for the Urza, like that Goblin will give me so much more advantage. It's like, hey, look, I'm gonna keep swapping this sword and I'm Witching Well to keep stacking my deck. Wee. So I'm gonna Bobby on the upkeep. Uh, I think it was a time save. Ooh, Ashiok. Does that just say opponents? Uh, there's not a reason. Uh, no, so it, it's target player mills four cards, then opponents, all opponents exile the graveyards. Right. So you you can choose yourself. So it does work in Drench. But you, right, okay. <laughs> but you can't search, that's what I'm saying. Uh, the opponent can't search, correct. Wow, oh, so, so cool. Uh, no, but it's, it's the basics that I still had foil. I'm like, I still like the artwork. You know, you, you, got, you gotta have that the BDE on your islands to show them who's boss. Exactly. God, Warren, you shuffle forever. Because they're so shiny, I, just, I, I get lost in it. So Streamlabs a part of Twitch? Is that what it is? No. No, uh, it's just completely separate. It, it's an OBS. Gotcha. It's a website you like. It kind of teaches you how to stream and gives you some pointers, but it's more of an OBS client. Gotcha. Stream. I mean, you are oh, yes. you are not wrong with Zach. <laughs> Slabs. Sam Buchanan. Yeah. <laughs> no, just all Sams. Yeah, all Sam's. He's like, explosives on one. I'm like, cool. No four. Like, Earl and a sword. Happy about that. There's a reason I shuffled forever whenever we played, Liam. It's because Sam taught me how to play magic. <laughs> so, man, I am I am writing this Ashiok right now. Uh, Ashiok is very good in mirrors. Liam can also attest. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good card. Yeah, it, I mean, it's kind of sad now because now Wizards are going to be super careful with uh, all of your static Planeswalker abilities from now on. Like, oh no, let's push them a little bit more. No? How about no? Like, oh, putting putting the uh, Back to Basics on a Planeswalker? He <laughs> could shuffle so much he could unrandomize his deck. <laughs> uh, that's, that's the real trick. Yeah, oh, yeah. Why is like, it on one? What's Pithy Needle on? Uh, oh, I think I went. I named. I went in the dark to fairy, three drop to fairy. So I'm like, you're three man. I'm like, we can do this in the dark. Right. See what happens. <laughs> Please pop that so you just lose value on your lantern while I draw <laughs> cards. <laughs> right. Yeah, I was like, I mean, I get what I say. If he wants to take out Pithy, which makes me think he has a makes me think he has to fairy in hand. 
It's like, we get rid of one Teferi and an Uro, so that's, I mean, like, those... Right, 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 yeah. I'm really happy about the hits. I'm like, okay, good. I'm taking, like, cards away that can win him the game. Because I have zero combo pieces on the board currently. I, have, I do have a sword in the bin. But, like, no Urza, no Thopter. Nihil Spellbomb doesn't do a whole lot here. Kaboom, kaboom. I mean, I guess if Ashiok dies... Right, right. He's like, yeah, we're going to do that. I'm like, cool. It was on one, right? It was on one, so like, I, would, I would lose my Nihil Spellbomb. But I was, I, was thinking, I, was like, I was debating, I was like, do I want to uh, fetch Shock, pay the one to draw a card? And I was like, no, because I think... I think I have a counter spell in hand. Probably have cryptic. I, I or something. And so I was like, I think I want to keep like. That's what I had to think about. I was like, if I do that, I can draw a card. Yes, but I'm like, but I think I want to keep this up to be able to to do this. And I was like, yeah, all right. Do you have cryptic? No, you don't play cryptic. I don't think I don't think in this list there wasn't quite enough room for it. What's witching well? The one man that asked to pay for the doctor. Oh, cards. okay. Yeah. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. <laughs> well, sorry. Yeah. There's four blue mana. No, I think you it's automatically like, think cryptic command. No, I was thinking. Uh, At least you could bluff him, though. Uh, you could bluff him that you have cryptic command, though. Um, Hard. So K command is there to buy back Urza's. Also, it's in at the in the current meta when we still had paper, it was just really good against Stoneforge decks. Yeah, and we had three of those, I think. At, you know, at a local meta, so I was like, K Command seems fine in this. <laughs> yeah, like that. activate Stoneforge, cool, it resolves. Yep, yep. By the way, boop boop. <laughs> oh no! Uh, oh, 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 oh! Camera down! Camera down! It's okay. This is better footage than <laughs> what we were watching. <laughs> the right, <cam> Liam. <laughs> The camera's like, no, I can't, I can't watch this anymore. Something's gotta happen. <laughs> no, don't put me back. Don't put me back. Oh god. Uh, it gets, it gets mostly fixed. It just, it, it took us a little bit. <laughs> it was the first time I've this. It was like, okay, like, what do they actually have up here? And I was like, uh, not a whole lot. All right. Well, now we're back to this shit show. Nah, it's great. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I, I think... Um, next... Oh, Thoughtseize. Here we go. I get to see exactly what's in his hand. So, Kill the Goose, Kill the Goose, Tyler Striker, Emery, uh, Explosives. Is I was that like, the new Thoughtseize? Yes. Oh, uh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, I look over and I realize what his problem is. He doesn't have any green mana. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, this is great. It's like four. Cool. Oh, there's some more green mana. Yeah, right. Look at that. And like, also, like, I got a sword. I'm like, sweet. Last chance for you to calm me out. Here's time, Steve. And I have a sword in the bin. So I'm like, Bobble you. He gets his fourth land. So I'm like, now I got to worry about Cryptic. Does he have Cryptic in his hand? Did it? Did he show it? Uh, no, no, but like, no, no, but no. like oh, because... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, no. So he, he wouldn't have any camera spells in hand because... I know it's in his hand, and I saw the card he drew, which is an island. No, I said, like, I, I dropped those for, uh, I upped Galvanic Blast and the Cling to, uh, cling to Dust. What's the, uh, the one that you just uh, dropped? Ensnarian Bridge. Oh, okay. I was like, alright. What's the beautiful, I can't think of what they're called. Masterpiece? Yeah, Masterpiece. It's Ensnarian Bridge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, oh, yeah. I just didn't recognize it because it was the yeah. Masterpiece. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. It's like, yeah. all right, hard cast Emery. I'm like, cool. Mil, mil, mil extra cards for me. He now has an has a green mana, too. I mean, maybe. With the flooded strand. I Not while Ashiok's on the board. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I saw something, I was like, mm, do I down take this? He's like, no. Nope. <laughs> I'm like, cool. So, th top to combo. It's like, Three tokens. I'm like, here's Urza. I don't even have a counter. Yeah. It's a combo. He's like, yeah, hey, hey, it's done. Why, never, it. why didn't you play Cryptic or Archmage Charms? Because uh, I wanted to have more creature and Planeswalker removal, uh, and also some more graveyard hate. And I think those are better than the Cryptic command.